So welcome to the presentation on application of technology for environmental study. The first part is about population forecasting. This presentation is done as part of NFDC on use of ICT in education for online and blended learning. This is done from Banayam in Pharmacology, Satyamangala. So let's come to the topic. See this picture for the walk session. So you can look for the event for a couple of minutes. It's clear that as the population is increasing, the resources, especially water, is freshly available in decrease. So probably a question comes for chapter next tomorrow. So we know that population is increasing, no doubt. To the dust, it may decrease, and it may increase or decrease due to migration. So, how it affects the environment or ecology? It directly affects the consumption of resources. It puts high risk on resource management. And more than an engineering problem, it is going to become a management problem to address the issue of population explosion. Even though technical solutions are feasible, their application should be properly monitored because that is where we are getting wrong. So, the learning objective of this class is estimate the rate of increase in population in a given city, compare different methods for estimating population rate, judge the existing resource management strategy based on the connected population. So, as we know, there are many methods for estimating population. One of the common methods is arithmetic increase method. We assume that population is increasing in the arithmetic series. So, this is how we can express the equation. dt by dt is a constant rate of growth. And we can find out the population at any time in based on the initial population and the average and number of population number of uh, terms in the series. So this calculation can be done by using a tool. So we introduce now, now a simple Excel sheet can be used for giving this solution for this population calculation. So let's look at this. The data is given and this system population in a city of five decades is given and you can estimate or forecast the population in any other given time. So the arithmetic increase method says for each decade of population, what is the increase in population compared to the previous one? You can calculate here this term which is directly you can get from d6 minus d4 that is 28,000 minus 25,000 is 3,000. So when you do for each of the terms in series to get the increase in population between any two decades. Now, we will find out what is the average increase per decade. So, we take the total and sum and you divide it by the number of sums in series to get the average increase in decade. So, with this data, we can calculate or predict the future population. Suppose we want to know the population in 2020 at the same place, we can use this equation this is nothing but this term is this term plus 1 the next decade into mean 5500. So we'll be getting the answer of 2500. So I'm to know the population at 2050 start from 2010 plus 4 times the mean. So we'll get the population at 2050. This is like a linear series. Calculation. Now, let us see some other methods for population forecasting. The second common method is geometric increase method. It is assuming a geometric series having a constant rate of increase in population and you are given the number of years. So, let us see how the same problem can be done with a geometric series. You are having the same data and you calculate what is the increase in population per decade. Now, we calculate what is the percentage increase in population. How to get this value? You divide 
the increase in population divided by the base population. So from 25,000 they have been increased to 28,000 so 3,000 divided by 25,000 will give 12 percent. Similarly do for all of the each term in series and you find out what is the geometric mean of this growth rate. How to get it? It is multiply, multiply each term and take the n root of the series multiplier. So we are getting about 16.38. Now in this great situation you can calculate population in the next decade that is 2020. So first term is P0 times 1 plus R by 100, 1 plus R is growth rate mean by 100 power 1. You will be getting this. Instead of that, if you want to calculate population to 50, you take base as 40,000 times 1 plus R is 16.38 times 24, you know, 4 decades past. Now, let's see how the same problem can be more complex if you want to do it in incremental increase method. And assuming that the growth rate is not same in all the years, so you, you find out how to calculate the incremental increase and to predict the population after that. So let us see this one. You know what is the increase in population. Now we will see whether the population is continuously increasing or decreasing. So that we find out the incremental increase. So the last term minus the previous term will give you the increase. So it's increasing for first thing. It's again increasing. I'm getting positive. It's decreasing. I'm getting negative. Now what I'll do, I'll find out the average per decade. So I add all together, divide by 3. I'll be getting the average incremental increase in population. I'm already having the average increase in population. So with these two terms, I can use this equation Pm equal to P0, that is 47,000 plus n times x bar. So n here is 1 into n plus 1, 2 by 2 into y bar is incremental increase in population. In case of here, you can find out that n is here 4, n into n plus 1, 4 into 5 by 2, you are getting this incremental increase population. The next one is decreasing rate of growth method. We assume that sometimes in the population growth is decreasing, what is the trend then? You can find out this decreasing rate of growth by using this Excel spreadsheet calculation. So you know this possible increase in population and we will find out again here whether this population rate is decreasing. So instead of increasing the decreasing rate is becoming negative. Here also the decreasing rate is becoming negative. Here it is positive because it is decreasing so the rate is positive. So we will take the total and we will find out the average. Now, what the calculation is, you take the base value plus what is the incremental increase for decreasing percentage population times the base population, you get this value. So, you cannot do continuously for 4 decades, you do 1 by 1, 2012 is 20, then based on 2020 data, you can calculate 2030, 2040, and then 50. This is the way of the decreasing rate of the or in one more method which is more commonly used is graphical method. You can use for approximation, you can use for getting a trend and to get any point by interpolation or extrapolation. We will see how a simple Excel graph sheet is working here. So this same data which is present here, I am putting it in a, uh, in a picture here, graph shows. So I am putting a trend line here, you can find out the trend line. In a Series, linear series. So with this series, I am getting pretty good half as well value 0.98. So I can predict the value of my population based on this trend equation. So I am getting a value like this. So well, let us compare how these calculations are matching. You can see the population is 220. That's always possible. Arithmetic means shows the lowest increase and the population in 250 also as the very increase method given the smallest value. Compared to arithmetic 
the government sector is highest both and increment in this method is somewhat giving better results not the higher or lower side but let us see about this picture in graphical method what happens is with the limited data of four decades you cannot actually find the real trend of the period so graphical method should be used wisely if you don't know about the details now once you know the population is increasing the demand for water is increasing how best we can survive thank you